Today we're going to go over an awesome plugin for creating people within Blender. And though it's free to use, take a look at the licensing agreement. You can see that you really can't use this for games without making your game open source, but that's okay. You can use it as reference material for building out your own characters. To get started, take a look below in the, and you'll see a link to this web page. Then click the download. And I'm using Blender 2.83 point whatever the latest version is. So clicking on this one. And now that the zip file is downloaded, before you leave this page, you can see there's a bunch of resources on how to use this plugin. I'm going to show how to install it into Blender, how to make a quick character and export it so you can use it in your favorite application for reference or as a placeholder character to do more with. Once you see that routine, you can come on back here and become a maven in using this. So closing this, within Blender, I'm creating a new general scene. I need to add the plugin that was just downloaded. Edit, Preferences, go to the Add-ons section. Click on Install. Select the downloaded zip. Downloads, there's the zip. Click on Install Add-on. And just give it a little moment for it to do its thing. I'm going to open up this menu and click on check for any updates. And we should be good to go. It should be all fresh. And that's it. You could close this window. To find it and use it, go off to the right side and click this icon right here. The N key on the keyboard go down to the MB Lab tab, and now you're ready to go create a character. To start out with, I'm going to create a character that will be used for reference. So I'll click on the Create Character button, and just wait. And there's our character. Let me delete this cube by selecting the cube and pressing the Delete key. Let's zoom on in, and there's a default character that was created. From this tab, you can adjust various settings, such as the age of the character. And all these toggles are done in percentages. So at 100%, you're 80 years old. And going down to the other end, you're down to 18 years old. Let's get a little more deeper into how to create a character. I'm, I'm going to delete this character and go do it again. All right. So, I'm going to use the drop down for the type of character to create, and you have some predefined characters. This time, now that I'm using drop down, don't want an elf here. How about a good realistic anime male? Nah, that sounds a little boring. How about a Latino male? That should be a little more interesting. Next, I'm going to click on the create character. and give it a moment to do its thing. And there's our character. Now there's a whole bunch of ways to adjust the parameters of this character to change its looks. I suggest you go to the website and go through the tutorials. They're excellent. To just quick start all this, if you go to the character library, and you open that toggle by just clicking on it. Here, the action opens up a menu down here where now you can select from predefined body types. Let's make this a very, very, I don't know, giant muscled person. And then you could go back up here and play with the parameters and you could browse the different body types and find one that you're happy with. Curious what the special type hero number two is as opposed to one. That's exactly what I was looking for. When you're done selecting the basic body type, you could still go up here and adjust different parameters of your character. You could open up the body measurements, 
and deal with the tono and mass of the character as well. So how much tone the character has. A little less toned. More toned. More mass. I really do recommend that you go through the website and do the full tutorial on making a character. But this might be good enough to inspire you for reference for building your own character and your favorite software, whether it's Blender, Maya, Max, or whatever else might be out there at the moment. Get this somewhere else, whether it's Maya, Max, Unity, wherever else you want to go if you don't want to build here. Select your character. Go under File. Export. Export FBX. Then give it a name. I'm just going to put this in my Blender folder. And I'm going to call this one Larry. It looks like Larry. And that's it. I'm going to close this out. And I'm launching Maya. Now it's time to import the character you just created. Go under File. Import. Select your character from where it was just saved. And let me scroll on down to Larry and click on Import. And here's Larry. That plugin rigs the character. It also could create controllers for the character. Here, I'm sticking to, I'm only using this character for reference. Let's, so because I'm only using the character for reference, I'm just going to select my character on the skin level, and this is the outliner. Going under the rigging status, I'm going to skin, unbind skin. Now I'm going to go to outliner and select all the skeleton rigging that came along with it, and I'll press the delete key. And now this is the pure mesh to be used as reference. And I'm just creating some type of creature that's inspired by the anatomy reference used here. If I wanted to use this character directly for a video game, the license agreement of that plugin allows you to use it for free. However, if you're going to publish a game, you have to leave that game open source. So that's probably something you don't want to do. For an animation, you have to read up on the license agreement a little more closely, but I believe that for your model to be open source in the GitHub. But that's also something that you probably don't want to do either because why do you want to work on a model and do animation and just give it away? So here it's used for reference. So, so by using it as reference to be a scaffold for us to build this proxy object that will then scope into our final character, that leaves us free to do whatever we want without having to worry about open source license agreements and having to expose our raw asset. But as a placeholder character, again, as a reference character, awesome. This is a great way to begin.